Hey, this is Mark. Uh, I'm from the Things IO, and I would like to show you how to send data from any device with HTTP uh, to the Things IO. So, with that uh, way to send data, you don't need to use our JSON. So, I'm going to show you first of all how to send data with this HTTP subscription, and second, how to get these uh, JSON payloads uh, and parse them into the things I owe to start um, making sense, create dashboards, etc, etc. So first of all, I just created a freemium account uh, at the things I owe. Uh, you can do it going to https uh, the things .io. And you will see something like this when you have your account. Okay, it's 15 days free trial. Just contact me on chat if you need anything else. Um, but first thing you need to do is just to create a product. So we will go to the Things Manager here and then create new product. Uh, so we are going to create the, pro the product test. It will be JSON. In case that it's Sigfox, LoRa, or anything else, uh, they work slightly similar that I'm going to show you. But for this, uh, for this project now, we are going to use JSON HTTP subscriptions. So we create it. And what is really important is to get into the details of this uh, product. And you will see uh, first the product ID and second a hash that we created. So this is really important to create uh, the URL subscription that I'm going to show you. By the way, all of this information that I'm going to show you, it's on, on developers.thethings.io, HTTP integrations. So if you search HTTP integrations, you will have all what I'm going to explain you right now here. Okay, so let's go. Uh, for all the demos, I'm going to use Postman because yeah, I'm using Mac, but in case that you're using Windows or something else that don't have a core uh, tool, so Postman works really good. Okay, so okay, let's make the URL. So uh, let's copy the uh, it's okay. Let's copy the hash. So let's go to Postman. And I will change this to 77, and this is the hash. Okay, what's really important now in the URL is to define how are you gonna call the devices. So in the JSON file, as you see here at the body, you should have a parameter that specifies the ID of the device, a unique ID that identifies this device, okay? Um, so on the on, as a parameter, you should explain as ID name that you will have the parameter ID inside your JSON that specifies the name of of your device, and then the the other relevant parameter it's f name that means a function name. I'm going to show you that at the things I we have cloud code framework where we are going to create a function called HTTP parser that will be the, the responsible to parse this JSON here, okay? So once we will get this JSON, actually first thing that's gonna happen, we will, we will understand that the ID name of the device, it's called ID on the JSON, so we are gonna read it. In case that the device 1234 doesn't exist, we are gonna provision it automatically. And then next thing that we are gonna do is we will create this device with, with a payload um, or an error in case that there is no um, a, a correct HTTP parser with the information that it's being sent, okay? So, um, what else? So, okay, first thing that we need to do is just to click send data. Okay, we are sending, we, we see success, we send a couple of times, and we can see here, yeah, first message received. Okay, so if we actually, uh, Refresh, we should see the device one, two, three, four. Yeah, so we have here the device one, two, three, four. If we click here, we don't see any data because we don't have still any HTTP parser. So let's go to Cloud Code. Okay, Cloud Code is a framework that we use to uh, build business logic on the top of the data, create analytics, uh, apply artificial intelligence at the top of the data. So we have triggers that are algorithms executed in real time. We have jobs that are algorithms executed every hour or every day. And we have functions that are executed whenever we want to call them. So let's create a function as we specify on the URL called, uh, so it will be for test one node test. Uh, it will be called HTTP, HTTP parser like this. 
Okay, so um, let's let's call it. So actually, we're gonna create uh, a bar called result that is an array, and inside the array, we are gonna make uh, a key value that is actually what we are gonna do here. It's to write as our API understands the data. So it's a mostly key value, as you can see on the documentation. So let's call it key champ, yeah, like this, and value. Okay, here the most important is to understand how the data, data is being sent. So it's usually payload dot, um, I think it's, uh, we, we are gonna see it here. Uh, params dot payload dot temperature okay params dot ah yeah params that it's coming on the main sorry yeah payload dot temperature okay and if we save this so this this is gonna create as we are gonna sending only a JSON with the ID and the temperature on the payload uh, so this is gonna create an array and with the callback that we do here we store this data okay related with the ID being sent so we click save we have the, the function for the product test. Um, and then uh, let's go to Postman again. Let's send some data. Yeah, let's put 15 now. OK, so let's go to the Things Manager. OK, to the product test. OK, one, two, three, four. OK, and what we can see here, OK, it's a payload that we received. Okay, that it's called, uh, yeah, we have the thing token, the device ID 1234, that we auto, auto provision the payload, that it's ID and temperature, the ID name, ID and HTTP parser. And we have as well the, the resource temp, that it's the, the one that we created with the function HTTP parser. So actually we send a couple of tens and then we change to 15, okay? So this is how easily it is to send data with HTTP. Okay, next thing that we can do actually, it's if you, if you want, it's to change the dashboard. Let's delete this dashboard. That it's uh, yeah, it's uh, it's just to demonstrate some widgets that we can that you can build with the things and let's create um, the temp uh, the thing resource from test the thing one two three four temp. And let's say that it's a gauche, real time. Let's freeze on. Okay, so yeah, we store it. And let's go to the postman. So now we could send 25. Okay, automatically we have everything working in real time. So this is how fast you can build uh, an HTTP subscription uh, with your own JSON file. Uh, from any device, from a Bluetooth gateway, from your mobile phone to any IoT or LoRa devices, or even Sigfox.